morning, uh, this is Kaylee Martin, and I thought I would take this opportunity to show you how I make my kale chips. Um, it's pretty easy, but um, some people are still having problems with it and they're not turning out. So, kale, very leafy, almost lacy-like green, very, very, very good source of vitamin A, C, K, um, manganese and copper. Um, very low in calories and, and everything, but very, very tasty. So there's worse things to be addicted to. So you'll get them from the grocery store in big bunches. This ran me about two bucks, I think it is, organic. Um, and basically all you do is, is tear them off into bite-sized pieces. And what I do is I line um, a sheet, uh, a baking dish with um, tin foil and just layer it, not, um, not too deep, but um, enough so I don't have to make too many um, batches of them because they're that good. So um, then what you do is you take an oil of any type. You can use Pam, um, but if you look at the ingredient list, there's... Um, other stuff in there that's questionable. So I recently, unfortunately, very recently, went out and got one of these oil pumps. You basically just fill it up with whatever oil you want, whether it's olive oil, flaxseed oil. Um, I believe I have grapeseed oil in here at the moment. And you pump it up. About a half a, or a dozen times or so. So after you pump it up, light spray, very light spray. That's all you need. And then take some kosher salt. And sprinkle however much you like. And when it's ready to go in, you preheat your oven to 375, so my oven's all ready to go. And unlike cooking shows, I don't have a pre-baked batch in the oven, so we're going to have to wait. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes now, so they sh the kale chips should be ready. It'll depend from batch to batch, but these look pretty good. Um, they could probably stand to be in a little bit longer, but we'll just leave it at this. Um, they're still good either way. So um, they're just slightly brown around the edges. I don't know if you can see that, but they're crunchy. So that's how you can more or less tell that they're done. So. They're very, very good, and as you can see, they're pretty easy to make, and um, the problem is um, not eating the whole thing, which, well, like I said, there's first things to be addicted to.